Hey, what's up, guys? I have another amazing question from my crypto investing course. And the question is, what are the differences between options and derivatives? Because there is a section of the course where I talk a little bit about derivatives and options. So what are the differences? Okay, basically, derivatives is the umbrella term for a number of different products that their price derive from underlying assets. A derivative is basically a contract that somehow tracks the price of an underlying asset. This underlying asset can be a stock of a company, can be a commodity like gold, silver, copper, uh, corn, or can be crypto, can be also Bitcoin, Ethereum. There are derivatives for all these different kinds of things. Can be also be an index like S&P 500. And the derivative is basically a product that tracks the price of the underlying asset. Now, there are different types of derivative products. You have options, warrants, futures, CFDs, swaps, and a few others. But they are all contracts that somehow give you access to the price difference on the underlying asset. What is an option more specifically? An option is a derivative that gives you the right, but not obligation, of buying the underlying asset at a certain price. These options and derivatives, I think they started mostly uh, to help farmers to get insurance against certain risks. So if you are a farmer and you are farming corn, things like that, you can actually buy a derivative that gives you the right, but not obligation, of buying corn at a certain price. So if there is eventually um, a storm and your uh, corn crops are destroyed, if you have that derivative, you will be able to buy corn at a certain price. Now, in the financial markets, we use these not really to buy corn and commodities, but we use more to invest or speculate in the price. Okay, so how will an option work? Well, the option will give you the option of buying the underlying price at a certain price at the maturity date. So let's say you have a Bitcoin option that has three months maturity, so it will mature uh, in three months from now, and the strike price is $30,000. And let's say at this precise moment, Bitcoin is $27,000. So how will the option work? Imagine if the Bitcoin price goes up to $35,000, now, at the maturity of the option, you have the right to buy Bitcoin at $30,000. So you made an amazing profit. Remember, price is $35,000, and this option gives you the option to buy Bitcoin at $30,000. So you will make money. Amazing. Now, if the Bitcoin price actually declines and goes to $25,000, and your option is to buy Bitcoin at $30,000, you will lose money, of course. But in a nutshell, basically, the option will give you the right to buy the underlying asset at a certain price, at a strike price, at a maturity date. And the options will give you uh, the ability to put upfront only a small amount of money. So let's say I can buy an option that represents one Bitcoin, represents the price variation of one Bitcoin, but I only need to put like $200 upfront to buy this option. And with these $200, you will have the exposure to the Bitcoin price variation of one full Bitcoin because the option contract can represent one full Bitcoin. So if the price goes up from 30,000 to 35,000, you will make all that profit, but you only put $200 upfront to buy that option contract. So it gives you a lot of leverage, which is good if the price goes up or bad if the price goes against your bet, of course. You can lose everything if the price goes against your bet. If it goes in favor to your bet, you can make a lot of money. So this is in a nutshell how options work. Now, because of this fact that options give you a lot of leverage, options are also quite risky, right? And options are not a good instrument for long-term investing. If you want to invest in the long term, if you want to hold a stock of a company, an index or crypto or Bitcoin, buying Bitcoin and holding for the next one, two, three, four, five years, 
buying Bitcoin itself will be much better than buying an option because options are more like for short term trading because it will give you a lot of leverage. It will be, if Bitcoin is volatile, the option will be even more volatile. Uh, so options will be more for short term bets or for short term speculation rather than long term investing. But let's say if you really believe, that Bitcoin price will go up or down, or if you want to edge a position by buying an option, uh, in my crypto investing course, I show different uh, ways of doing edging and different reasons why you would want to make some hedging, right? You maybe you want to lock the price of your assets for some reason, or you want to uh, do some staking and you don't want to be exposed to the price variation, but you want to be exposed to the gains that you get from the yields that you get from staking. Uh, buying an option could be an interesting way of doing that. All right. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe. Let's continue talking about investments, options, and how to be wealthy in this world of investments in crypto. I'll see you next time.